this is part two to the video series that I'm making to see the effects of plastic when it's submerged in water. Now in part one I did have a certain floating mine model that I was going with, but every time I printed it in a solid piece it would turn out like this and it's kind of ugly and I don't like it, so I went with the second model which has all the components laid out. Now the only downside is I have to glue the components together, but fun fact Super glue, for the most part, is aquarium safe. It's got to be a certain type of super glue, but this should be fine. So now it's time to assemble the mine. Well, some of the finer details on this model are really brittle, like the little pokey, sticky outy bits. And they kind of break off, but I don't know, it gives it a little bit of character. It's not going to affect anything, the little sticky, big, sticky outy bits right here are 100% infill, but the actual body of the mine is still 50% infill. So, you know, in theory, should still be good to go. So here's the old floating mine from the design that I initially wanted to work with. Again, kind of messy, didn't really print good. And then these are the ones that we're going to be testing with. This one's made out of PETG, this one's made out of PLA, and this one's made out of ABS. I'm going to take the old floating mine out and then put all three of these in at the same time and whichever one falls first will know absorbs moisture the fastest. And then second and then third or maybe some of them don't fall at all. We don't know. We're going to test it out. And bada bing bada boom. We have got all three of the floating mines in here. Again, not all of them are printed perfectly because those little nubs on the top that I glue in there are really brittle, especially in PLA. Now, this is PETG, PLA, and ABS. This is clear, white, gray. It's just the colors I had in stock. Um, now, here's the thing. PLA is definitely more buoyant than the other two because it took a little more to anchor it down than the other two, so that's an interesting development. PLA floats but it floats a little better than the other two. So, noted. Now, at this point, all we have to do is just wait. So which one of these is going to sink first? Well, that's why you've got to get subscribed. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon because when one of these finally sinks, I'm going to make a video updating y'all and letting you know the progress of the experiment. So in the comments, tell me, which one do you think is going to sink first? I have my money on the Pet G, but I've heard some people say PLA will definitely absorb ABS? I'm not sure. I don't really try ABS all that often. So it's anyone's game. By the way, it's currently July 2nd, so today's the start date. Let's see just how far these aquarium decorations can go.